welcome to the tutorial video for the new SAM 3D Pad 2 software. In this video, I will show you how to operate the software. There are different ways to open your parts in the 3D Pad software. Existing measurements can be opened in 3D Pad by pressing the 3D button in the main menu of the SAM Pad Lab 7 software. Just select the player and the session and press the 3D button. This will open the first part of the measurement in the 3 d part software. During an active measurement or training session, parts will be displayed directly in the 3 d part software after the part has been recorded. This gives you instant 3D feedback during your training. Let's have a look at the 3 d part 2 software itself. This is the main screen of the SAM 3 d part 2 software. In the top left corner, you can find details about the session, which is opened at the moment. The actual information of your PUT can be found in the upper left corner of the view area. The default values shown are face, path and rise angle. You can click on the values if you want to change the displayed information. In the lower left corner, you can see which part of the session is displayed at the moment. You can switch between parts by pressing the arrow buttons on the right and left side. You can also use the numbers 1 to 9 on your keyboard. By clicking and holding the left mouse button in the view area, you can adjust the perspective. By pressing and holding the right mouse button, you can move the perspective. With the scroll wheel of your mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out. Optional, you can also use the keys Q, W, E, A, S and D on your keyboard to change the perspective. In the top right corner, you can find predefined camera views like from the top, down the line, behind the ball and more. Just click on the buttons to change the view. In the lower part of the screen, you can find the timeline of the putt. On the lower left side, you can play and pause the replay. Optional, you can also press spacebar on your keyboard. To move to a certain position of the replay, just press and hold the left mouse button and move the slider over the timeline. Further, you can press the tab key on your keyboard to jump directly to the key position start, top of backswing, Impact and Finish. By pressing the left and right key on your keyboard, you can move through the timeline step by step. Below the timeline, you can adjust the speed of the replay. On the left side, you can find predefined profiles, which use overlays to add additional information to the replay. Available profiles are Face Angle, Impact Spot, Shaft Lines, Vertical Lounge, Horizontal Lounge, Template, Swing Plane Top View, Swing Plane Back View, and if you have a SAM Ball Tracker system, you can also show the ball path from the back or the top. You can adjust the overlay information individually for your personalized view by using the buttons on the right side of the screen. To compare two parts with each other, you can use the compare button in the upper center of the screen. There are three options available. You can compare two putts by showing a ghost putter overlay on the replay. Or you can switch to the horizontal or vertical side-by-side -side view. If you now change a perspective or overlay, this adjustment will also be shown in the comparison putt. If you have made measurements with the SAM Ball Tracker system, there are additional options available. At the top of the screen, you can switch to the Shot Pattern mode, which divides the screen into two areas. The top area shows the actual putt, and the lower area 
shows all parts of the session. Further, you have two additional view modes. The golf ball button lets the camera float above the ball to the end position during the replay. And the flag button centers the view above the hole. I hope this tutorial video has given you a general overview about the new SAM 3D Part 2 software. If you have any questions or feedback, please let us know.